world, create our new comfort zone, create our new comfort zone, Aman Kapoor. Every morning in Africa, when the sun rises, a gazelle wakes up. It knows that it has to run faster than the fastest lion, or else it will be killed. Every morning in Africa, when the sun rises, a lion too wakes up. It knows that it has to run faster than the slowest gazelle, or else it will starve. Therefore, it doesn't matter whether you are a lion or a gazelle. When the sun is up, you'd better be running. <laughs> Lines from Born to Run by Christopher McDougall, Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests. It was about a year ago that I was in my doctor's office reviewing the results of my annual physical. I couldn't understand a word or what was written up in the report, but my doctor told me that some of the numbers in my report were not looking good at all. That report was like a wake-up call. I could then relate to the lion and the gazelle simply because I too had to run in order to save my life. The moment I thought of getting into running, I was totally surrounded by all the possible limiting beliefs, obstacles, and warnings. Aman, you are not that young anymore. Do you know that people can collapse while running? You can even get a heart attack. Aman, running can be very hard on your knees, eh? Take my advice, don't run. Do something else. This Aman heard them all out most patiently. But this Aman lived up to his reputation of being stubborn. In order to get into running, I had to do two most important things. First, run. <laughs> Second, research. So I researched about how to run. How far to run, how often to run. Should I run fast, should I run slow? About hydration, nutrition. And it was around then that I was introduced to the 10-3 rule of endurance training. According to the 10-3 rule, you increase your total weekly mileage that you run only by 10% and no more. And you stay there for a period of three weeks and then if you wish to, you can increase your mileage another 10% and you stay there for a period of three weeks. The real beauty of the 10-3 rule is that it literally told me that there is no rush and it helped me. It helped me to come out of my comfort zone one step at a time. At this stage, I would like to share with you all an extremely inspiring story of an 85-year-old ultra runner named Helen Klein. Do you know that Helen started running in her life only at the age of 55, only to discover that she could run 500 kilometers through the state of Colorado. Do you know that she could run 300 kilometers through the Sahara Desert? And that she could run 300 kilometers up in the Himalayas and that she could even track up to the first base camp of the Everest. The Everest. And she did all that and much more. 
much, much more, all in her 60s, 70s, and in her 80s. And when Helen is asked, Helen, how did you manage to do all this? All she's got to say, that I focused on my next step. I must confess that in the field of long distance running, I am an absolute rookie. But each time I run, I feel like a million bucks. Whether it's the 10-3 rule, or it is the inspiring story of Helen Klein's life, all this is helping me. Helping me build, helping me create my new comfort zone. One step at a time. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to offer the same solution to you all for perhaps anything that you may be struggling with. Whether it's running or walking or even public speaking, I urge you to start. Take the first step. Follow the one step at a time rule, crushing your obstacles, creating that new comfort zone which is full of accomplishments because that comfort zone is going to be as vital to you as running is to the lion and the gazelle. Madam Contest Chair.